Hey guys, uh, here's the California Flash, what I got so far. See, here's the kit I'm talking about. Oh man. You got, I'm sorry, this is, there you go, there's, that's the one. Uh, painted the whole thing white again, first off. Then I masked off and taped it out to shoot the orange. Because why I did that, for example, the decals for the hood, or the whole thing, these go over the top. See, it fits pretty decent. I nailed the width of it off. So, I don't think you guys need to do that with this if you don't want, if you just want to shoot it orange. Because these decals are super they uh i think they'll cover the orange and not bleed through so that's why i shot mine white down the middle i was afraid of it bleeding through i don't think we'll have that issue there's a shot of the motor i got so far the coil and stuff's not in it uh up underneath there's the headers see it's got the same headers as that melrose missile i did the overspray on the chassis to make it look like when they shot the body it's got some overspray in it that's what that is it's not a mistake that's just crazy owl thinking on the box actually i did that actually guys i did this before i seen it here see the directions they're just like the other ones they got the other color layout in them see they did the same thing but a little heavier on hers but i never even noticed that until until i got mine ready but there's that. I haven't started the interior. I want to show this to you first before I got much further. When you build this engine in here, you build this whole subframe up underneath here first. These, the fenders, inner wall fender links aren't here. Firewall's not here. The fan or nothing. You start by gluing up here. I guess it's like the A-frame up onto this main frame right here that's silver you glue this in then do your spindles on each side and then you mount the engine onto here at this whole frame this whole sub a frame here and you mount the engine on and get it all set up the headers up you got to put the headers on first if you put this on the engine in if you build all this first and then drop the engine in the headers are a bear to get on so just a little FYI, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a couple linkage on it, put a return spring, a few things like that. I'll, I'll baby that up, but uh, it's pretty quick one. Like I told you, it wasn't, I didn't get that far on it. I wanted to let you know before I start the interior or the decals of it. I wanted to show you the body, what it looked like before I do the decals, because I got to do the bare metal foil around the windows and then lay the decals. Because, man, if you decal this car up, guys, and then you try to do the bare metal foil last, you're going to stand a chance of scraping and chipping them decals. Because when I get mine decaled, I like to clear coat it. You can't clear coat it and then put bare metal foil on. It won't stick as well. You gotta do it on here before before you clear coat. So just an FYI, that's a little information for you. And that actually came from the cat that makes that bare metal foil. I talked to him on the phone one time. Well, basically I told him that their product was crap. And I didn't even want my money back. I just wanted to call him up and tell him his product was crap. And he said maybe I didn't know what I was doing. Well, Seems to me I've used it for years and never had no problem. Now here a sudden these last three batches I got, I would use it. As soon as I got it, I'd use it and it worked great. You know, four or five weeks, six weeks later, I'd go cut some more out for another build and it wouldn't stick. And then I had I had some other stuff where I'd peel it off and get it ready and it would crinkle up and just rip and crack. And I went on some forums and I wasn't the only person that had that same problem. But yeah, he was telling me it's how I was storing it. You know, it's like, what, what do you think? I'm keeping it out back in the goddamn chicken coops? 
you know? <laughs> but uh, he even told me, he said, I got some, give me your address. I said, dude, I don't want any free stuff. I'm telling you, whatever you guys cut on your solution that sticks this stuff, if you thinned it out, you've got some bad batches out there and it's not worth a nickel. And I mean, that stuff, you know, it's nine, ten bucks for a sheet of that. It used to be two sheets. Now it's only one. And I'll let him know about that, too. And, uh, but we went around about it, and, uh, he asked me to go buy the new, it says, new and improved. About three months later, it came out, and he called me. I ain't kidding you. Like, three months later, he said, hey, I want you to go buy. He said, I want to send you some. Give me your address. And I said, no. I said, you ain't got to do that. I'll go buy some. You know, if you say it's new and improved, I'll pay for it and try it. I ain't want nothing free. And, uh, I found it, and I bought it. And it works, and it's still working. I got it right up here in my cupboard. I've been using it. I've done about four cars, so I guess bare metal foil is back in my front burner. I was, I'd was i rather, at the time, guys, I was hand painting my trim on here with flat aluminum rather than buy bare metal foil. That's how bad I thought it was. But but now I'm happy to go like I'm back on the bare metal foil. So I'll, I'll do that on this one, and then I'm going to do the decals. So And I'll be doing the interior in tandem. And when I get that done, I'll do another video when I get the wheels up underneath her and let you know, know how the California Flash is looking. Um, that's about it. Like I said, these decals are just, uh, this kit is just like the 64. A little body difference, a little change on the grill. Um, got the same, it's got two sets of different rims in it. It's got your chrome. Chrome's real nice. I got to give them that. They banged out this chrome. There ain't no fady chrome or flaky chrome. or And the, the flash, there's no flash. I mean, you can't hardly find any, you know, that plastic flashing sticking out anywhere on this thing. Pretty amazing job they've done on these kits. Had they only done this years ago on all the other kits, and Johan caught on, we wouldn't have some of these crappy kits we got. I got an AMX in there. It's, it's got so much flash. You can't tell where the engine mounts are and the flash starts. It's terrible. There's the interior. I got it painted up. I got, I wanted the tan. I, you know, it, it not only is it like the box, they did, they got it right, guys. Not only is it like the box and these little pictures shows you, but I pulled this car up, Butch Leals, and looked it up, and you can see the brown interior in this car. It's pretty much the standard package super stock. No radio, no air, no nothing. And it's what they gave the drivers of their, uh, you know, the Plymouth teams and stuff. So, that's uh, that's pretty accurate. They did a pretty bang-up job. Now, as you can see here, he had steel rims on the back crate and these uh, thrush, whatever you call these, on the front. And I've seen pictures of this car. And Butch does have slicks with, with the chrome rims on the back, too. So, you kind of can do either one. Um... Back in the day, you know, the drivers, the guys that owned these cars, sometimes drove them around town. And when they did that, they just pulled the slicks off, throw them in the trunk, put the Kragers on here, the chrome, chrome thrush, whatever, and uh, and drive them in town. But when they got to put them on a trailer or took them to the drag strip, they pulled the slicks out of the trunk and throw them on. And that's how they ran them. I mean, that's why that exhaust system, this actually has that exhaust where you flip it over back and see. Here in the headers, this cross member pipe. These headers are designed to be open or shut. You can shut these headers off and it runs out the exhaust. Made it street legal. These guys could run this on the street actually. So I went ahead and put mine on. This kit comes with two sets of headers too. It's got another set of short pipe headers you can use if you don't want to use the exhaust. So, you know. Um, a 65, I mean, it was years before they actually had that had super stock full-blown rules and everything when it, when pro stock started merging in that they changed it so but that's it just do it the way you want have fun with it it's a fine build it's a good body it's clean as a whistle there ain't no flash there ain't no seam lines to sand nowhere it's one of the nicest bodies like i said the lat the melrose missile in this one it's dandy it's a, it's a pleasure building these not like doing some crash bash scratch build where you got to build something out of a stock kit but that's it fellas i'm wrapping this up i'm gonna leak on the fire and call the dogs in before i wake my 
Gotta look around crazy mama up. Um, you guys got any questions, hit me back. Shoot me up. Let me know what you got. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos and commenting. A uh, great bunch of crew we got here in our groups we use. And I visit a lot of other sites. I, I do see a lot of you guys' other builds. But, you know, I'm busy as heck. So, it's uh, everybody is. Lord, you know, it's a busy time. You don't get enough sleep and you work too hard and do too much. Well, look, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Okay, all Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models, the California Flash of Butch Leal. You take care. Bye-bye.